Hey everyone, this is Sam Gold from FieldGoals.com. Today we're going to talk about the Seahawks' recent free agent signing of Jari Evans and how he fits on the Seahawks offensive line. Back in 2010, Evans signed a 7-year, $56.7 million deal, which at the time, it made him the highest paid interior offensive lineman in NFL history. Evans has been in the league for 10 years. In those 10 years, he has a total of 153 career starts, while the rest of the Seahawks line has 136 combined. This experience comes with a price tag. Evans clearly has lost some of his ability as a top tier guard due to age and most recently injuries. Evans missed five games this past season with knee and ankle injuries. While before this season, Evans has only missed two games in the past nine years. As a pass blocker, Evans is fantastic. He is quick off the snap, he is great at quick setting defenders, he catches bull rush as well, anchoring using good knee bend and lower body strength. One thing that makes Evans so good in pass blocking is his awareness to block stunts. He rarely, if ever, gets beat inside, not seeing a looping defensive end. Versus the Giants in this play, he does a good job of firing out of his stance, making sure he doesn't allow penetration between himself and the right tackle. Max Unger, former Seahawks center that was traded to the Saints in the Jimmy Graham trade a year ago, helps slow the linebacker down from blitzing passing to Evans who completely stops him in his tracks. As a run blocker, it's a completely different story. He plays the run game as a position blocker as opposed to a run baller. He rarely if ever drives the defender backwards based on strength off the snap. He's not the type of guard that will punish a defender on a double team either. He's completely satisfied with good positioning. As a pass blocker, that's perfectly fine and he uses that ability exceptionally, but as a run blocker, you need to be ferocious, and that's something he clearly lacks on tape. On this run against the Texans, number 93 Jared Crick stacks Evans well at the point of attack, funneling the running back inside. The left guard completely whiffs on his reach block, his shoulder pads aren't squared to the target, and Vince Wilford tosses him aside, making him pay for the mistake to get the tackle for loss. A play that the Seahawks run a lot is the outside zone stretch. The number one killer of this play is instant penetration, and that's what happens here. Evans allows Tyson Alu to penetrate through the playside A-gap immediately after the snap. Evans is definitely a better backside run blocker than a frontside run blocker because he can use his awareness and positioning to defeat defenders. One thing that stood out to me was how frequently Evans got beat by swim moves. The swim move beat him multiple times this season where Evans lunged the defender just to have the defender dodge the punch and swim past him getting to the backfield. On the goal line versus the Giants, the defender gets inside Evans' chest plate to pull and swim over him. The right tackle picks up the block and sandwiches the defender between himself and Evans, but if the right tackle was not there, this would be immediate penetration. So where will the Seahawks play him? News from Seahawks training camp paints a clear picture in my mind. Rookie Jermaine Effetti is looking great while Jamarcus Webb has been relegated to second and third team reps. What I honestly see happening is that Effetti will move to right tackle, his college position at Texas A&M, while Jari Evans will man the right guard spot with Mark Lewinsky at left guard. We should find out more during preseason though. Overall, Evans has been a terrific guard his entire career in pass protection. This ability has earned him six Pro Bowl appearances and four first team All-Pro honors. He should immediately be an upgrade on the offensive line. Well that's it for me. Subscribe to my channel for my next video breakdown. You can find me on Twitter at Samurai Gold, and if you want to support my work with a donation, Follow the link to my Patreon account on the screen.